hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is tawa and on this channel i share skincare tips product recommendations i do some skincare product reviews to really help you make the decision on what skincare product can really help you achieve your best skin possible so if this sounds like something you'll be interested in then definitely consider subscribing so you don't miss my other videos in today's video i'm going to be talking about the best oils for clear skin so if you want if you have acne prone skin you want to watch this video to really decide on what oil is best for your skin and if you don't have acne prone skin you still want to watch this video to really know which oil is best to really give you that hydrated plump dewy skin and youthful skin because we all know that hydration is the best thing you can give to your skin if you want your skin to thrive you need hydration and even though there are a bunch of serums and moisturizers out there that can really give you that moisture um oils do very well at you know helping you lock in the moisture that you give to your skin so let's say you have amazing serums and moisturizers that you use for your skin and you don't have acne prone skin but your skin gets dry out easily you want to watch this video because i'm going to be sharing oils that can really help you lock in the moisture and help you retain that hydration for a longer period of time without clogging your pores because we all know a bunch of oils out there tend to be very comedogenic so yeah let's get right into it so first what are oils oils are extract from either seeds from flowers from plants from leaves from stems or even from roots and depending on what you need the oil for you want to really be careful with choosing the right types of oil for your skin um 70 percent of the oils out there tend to be highly comedogenic and what comedogenic means for those that don't know are oils that tend to clog your pores let's say these are oils that if you put on your skin they clog your pores your pores tend to produce your sebum productions comes through your pores and if you use oils that are comedogenic it clogs the pores and then causes congestion in your skin and that's why you tend to break out when you use comedogenic oils whereas if, when you use oils that are not comedogenic on your skin you get the benefit without the downside of clogging your pores which means there will be no congestion and there will be no breakout on your skin and that's the main purpose of this video to give you certain facts that can really help you decide on what oils are beneficial to your skin depending on what you're looking for if you don't have acne prone skin um i would really still suggest you go for non-comedogenic oil because you never know what can happen using comedogenic oil on your very clear skin that has never broken out that doesn't break out if it gets clogged and congested you may begin to experience breakout. so the first oil on my list for this video will be the rose hip seed oil this oil is amazing it is non-comedogenic it is lightweight it is amazing for your face as well as your body so if you're following me on instagram at tower good skin you would see that i post i rave about rose hip seed oil a lot so that's definitely on the top of my list although this video is more focused on face you can also use this oil for your body it is amazing it helps rose hip seed oil is actually high in vitamin a and vitamin a as we all know is amazing when it comes to anti-aging it's great for fine lines and wrinkles so adding a rose hip seed oil as the last step in your skincare routine will, will do a lot of good for your skin i use it for my face and body and i can tell you i've experienced tremendous improvement in the smoothness of my skin in the hydration and moisture locked in to my skin the second oil on my list will be jojoba oil jojoba oil is one of those oils that is not non-comedogenic however it's a little bit thicker than the rose hip seed oil so personally i don't use it for my face however if you have very dry skin or if you have mature skin let's say you're in your 40s to 50s then you can definitely benefit from jojoba oil just keep in mind that you don't want to use more than two to three drops for your face and neck and for your body you can go as much as maybe five drops for each part of your body but jojoba oil is amazing for hydration so i would say if you have dry skin you want to go more towards the jojoba oil side because it is very rich in moisture 
you don't want to just take a bath or wash your face and go straight in with a hoba oil you want to make sure you're adding hydration and moisture first to your skin and then top it top it up with a hoba oil because you need to have hydration and moisture you need to have something to lock in well oils does in your routine is actually to lock in the moisture that you already have in your skin so if you're thinking of adding a very moisturizing hydrating oil to your skincare routine jojoba or jojoba oil is an amazing one to pick which is why it's on the number two on my list the third oil that is absolutely amazing and tops my list of the you know the best oils for your skin will be marula oil if you have acne prone skin this should be the top of your list if you have sensitive skin or your skin tends to get really red easily marula oil is an excellent choice for you because it has anti-inflammatory properties and it's actually it is also very rich in omega fatty acid which is very healing and locks in moisture to your skin so definitely look into adding marula oil as the last step of your skincare routine a bonus oil that i'm gonna add to this will be vitamin e oil vitamin e oil has amazing antioxidant properties i definitely will recommend using this on your face because it tends to be um very thick and can it's not a comedogenic oil but because it's so thick in texture it could cause build up on the face depending on how concentrated it is so if you're buying a vitamin e oil by itself i would say use it as the last step for your body but don't use it for your face for face i would say vitamin e is better in combination with a product so you can buy a vitamin c that has vitamin e or a face cream that has vitamin e for your face but using vitamin e by itself I would say keep it off your face and just use it for your body it is amazing for your body thanks for taking the time to watch this video guys i really really appreciate it i definitely had a good time filming this video i want to make sure you guys enjoyed watching it too please leave me a comment to let me know your thoughts on these videos have you tried any of these oils i love to know what oil you're using in your skincare routine how is it working for you would you be trying any of these oils let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed watching this video please give this video a thumbs up and share with your friends and family i'll see you in my next video bye guys Mwah.